The movie starts in a house where there are some people packing narcotic drugs. Terry sneaks out to steal their money and then takes the money, but when he gets out of the house he meets the police and is arrested. Upon examining his records, it was found that he was a special duty soldier and had won many medals. After previous assignments in Afghanistan, Iraq and Nigeria, later, when questioned, Police officer Harvey Clark asked him about the reason for the theft, and Terry replied that he could not afford his daughter's medical expenses. Harvey offers to help him by sending him to a prison to interrogate the warden. In order to find any evidence against him regarding human rights violations or corruption, where the warden of the prison had a bad reputation, he refuses. But when Harvey tells him how long he will be imprisoned for theft, he is forced to agree for his daughter's sake. He bids farewell to his sick daughter, Harvey gives him contact information in the cell, and tells him to take care of himself. He gets to jail. Lieutenant Killian explains about the prison rules to the prisoners. When he was put in his cell he found a phone with a message in it, which he will use to send evidence. The next day Killian nastily wakes the prisoners up for breakfast. One of the prisoners pours Terry food and tells him to bow to him, but he turns away from him. Later while Terry was walking around, the prisoners were playing. One of the prisoners tells him he hopes he can fight back. A prisoner named Fru and his friends approach him and ask him to join their mafia gang, but he insists on being alone. While cleaning up, he saw some Mexican prisoners complaining to Fru about the warden. They attack him with knives, but he defeats them. Then in one of the cells, he is attacked by a member of the Mexican gang, but another prisoner named Bones helps him. Suddenly the guards burst into the cell and they were all sent to solitary confinement. There Terry remembers his sick daughter. After that, the prison warden punishes the Mexicans who attack Terry and apologizes to him. Then he tells Terry about the private prison and his boring affairs. To make him even more excited, he set up a fighting tournament as a way to fight against strong prisoners so as to earn rewards. Then he gave him combat gear and then put him with a new cellmate. Gina drops him off at his new cell, where he finds Bones, who helped him earlier. Bones asks him to forget the outside world and learn to survive in prison, and offers to help him. Terry then uses the phone to inform Officer Harvey that combat heroism might be happening, but he needed visual evidence. Later Bones trains Terry introducing him to various prison gangs and the Black Mafia led by Fru, the powerful fighter who taught him. Later the guards take Bones and Terry to the dungeon, where there are never any rules. The non-participating prisoners watch the fighting on TVs outside. The fight begins and Terry records the action with his phone, while the prison warden watches as he sits. The fans cheer for Fru who fights against two opponents and wins. Next they ask Terry to confront a Mexican cartel member. Terry wins, as Bones tells him about their fighting style. Later, the warden offers Fru to choose any reward he wants after his good performance. But he wanted to know why Bones helped Terry, and he replies that Bones wanted it. Then Fru reminds him of his promise to release him in order to keep the prisoners under surveillance. He threatens him that if he does not guarantee his freedom, he will not be able to guarantee that his friends will be kept in the room. The warden explains to him his plan to refight Fru, but with the best fighter in the prison, promising to set him free if he wins the fight. After a while, Terry receives a visit from lawyer Jeanette after assigning her his case to help him get his release. But he refuses. She explains to him about corruption in private prisons for human trafficking and asks him to contact her if he needs any help. Then she leaves. Later on, 
Bones prepares Terry for the upcoming battle with someone considered the best fighter, who asks him for more strength to face his opponent. At that time in the cell, the battle begins and Terry eliminates his opponent with one powerful blow and then leaves the place. Later, Terry asks Bones about his life, and Bones explains how he was charged with murder. The next day, the other prisoners saw Terry's presence as a threat to them. To attack him with knives, Gina intervenes to stop the fight, but one of them stabs her by mistake and then runs away leaving her in Terry's hands. The warden then thanks Terry for doing well to save the guard and protect his reputation. Terry asks the warden to set up a match for him against Fru. Fru, on the other hand, reprimanded his men for acting without his permission. The warden then contacts the prisoners who attack Terry and he orders Killian to kill two of them for breaking his rules. As Fru observes this, he says he never ordered them to. The warden told him to confront Terry and then forced him to. Fru meets Terry for a fight and calls him a brawler, but Fru doesn't respond and lets him train with bones. Terry later wrote a letter to Officer Harvey telling him he intended to fight Fru. He continues to train hard while remembering his daughter. Then, in the cell, the warden announces the start of the fight between Terry and Fru, and as the fans cheer, the fight intensifies and Terry finally wins. Later, he sent the officer evidence of the fighting and asked him to show it, but received no response. The next day, the prisoners confessed that Terry was their new hero, and the warden showed his strength to other inmates, whom Terry described as parents and leaders who did not find rehabilitation in the facility. Then the warden offers to help him run the place, but Terry refuses, and then shows him his prison-based organization to sell contraband, which Terry calls slavery. But the warden calls it free labor and promises him he will have more fun. Terry tells him he'll think about it, and then he takes a few drugs before he gets out. The prison warden also shows Terry the bodies of those who attacked him, but Terry only wants to be with his daughter. Later, the warden takes Terry to Officer Harvey, who has been sending him letters, which makes Terry shocked when he finds out that they work together. The prison warden explains to him that they are friends and share the profit equally. They also revealed the gameplay ring they're running with seven others in prison, pitting the best fighters against each other. They ask him to work with them too. At first he refuses, but he accepts after they bring him the dead bodies of the people who participated. They pit him against the best fighter in another prison. After that Harvey leaves. Later Terry and Bones plot to bring down the warden and officer Harvey and inform the other prisoners as well. Terry summons attorney Jeanette and hands her a slide containing evidence of what's going on. Later, the visiting warden and his massive fighter named Chaka arrive. The prison warden is shocked when he sees him. However, he agrees to the bet of $100,000. After that the fight begins, Terry throws the powder he took to prevent Chaka from seeing. He started attacking him, and while he was remembering his daughter he gave the signal to his other teammates to follow through with the plan they started attacking the guards who panicked. Then the visiting jailer escapes, while the prison warden also tries to escape. But the police officer arrives and shoots the guard. During the escape, the warden meets Terry and the fight begins. Bones comes to Terry's aid. The warden picks up his gun to shoot them, but the cops arrive and shoot and arrest him. Later, Jeanette explains how she took the video clip from Terry's slide to inform the officers about the corrupt establishment. This is what caused Terry to be granted a full pardon. After that, the state covered the costs of his daughter's treatment. Later, Terry thanks Bones for helping him. He asks him not to forget him. 
Terry bids farewell to the prisoners, who cheer him on before leaving with Jeanette, then takes his daughter from the hospital, gives her gifts and hugs, and they head home. Later, Terry sends Jeanette to get Fru and the corpses out of prison, and we also see the prison warden in his cell, in a state of shock and madness at what happened with him. I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, hit the like button to support us, and leave a comment if you'd like us to review your favorite movie. Until the next time, take care.